announced her candidacy for New York City mayor. Her hope to empower change through a grassroots approach. We're pleased to have her here on the set of Open to discuss the new horizon she has in store for the city. And uh, Hilda, we welcome you here. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me on this wonderful show, Oprah, Open. I'd like to thank you and your viewers and all of New York. Thank you. So the race for New York City mayor, you've decided to put your hat in. And uh, you say that you want to see new horizons. First of all, why mayor? Basically because... I've tried for many years to be a community advocate, doing many different avenues, working with youth, working with senior citizens, working with various programs, working with the disabled, and sending messages to the mayors, to city council, to, and have got, and I think it, everything that we've sent to them fell on deaf ears and blind eyes. So I said, it's time to step up or shut up. If I'm in charge, then I know things will get done. It's like your mom. When you go to your mother for a problem, your mom answers that problem and solves that problem for you. I'm going to be the mother of the city. Mm. That's my plan, is just to, to, to take each aspect that, that problems are, 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 are just overwhelming people and, and, and take care of them with solutions. What are some of the key problems that you find that the city has to deal with? Um, education. The education system is woefully lacking. Okay. Our students, our kids are not going into career paths. They're ending up uh, dropping out, four out of 10 drop out. 80% uh, of those who graduate uh, are not even ready to take a college course without remediation. There's no career path. We wanna, we wanna, we wanna instill a career path um, and involve all of the stakeholders, the parents, as well as the students, as well as the teachers and the school administrators and employers initially, even starting in elementary school with, with, with employers coming in to mentor the students so that they really have realistic ideas about their future. Because right now, it seems that a lot of our youth are paying bail and going to jail. Okay, also we need uh, places for our youth to, to, to be. Um, there's centers are closing, programs are closing, and um, I run a program called a Different Approach uh, Educational Facilitation and Bowling Clinic because I'm a certified Olympic bowling coach as well. And, I, and I've, I've partnered up with uh, FaceTime, which is another youth program which positive, positive things are happening with our kids in, in both of these programs. My program will have a 99% success rate. Only one kid dropped out of, out of high school in 20 years. And FaceTime pulls together aspiring um, models, mm -hmm. photographers, music artists, and, 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 and they're all in one place together. And, and I went to an, an event there recently, and it was the most enlightening and, and uplifting experience that I've had in quite a long time with so many people from all walks of life in one place happy mm -hmm. let me move to the campaign for a moment mm -hmm. because obviously you're going to have an uphill battle admittedly uh a lot of major names are already out there a lot of support from uh parties you're looking at a more of a grassroots approach how do you look to counteract or balance or attack those that are already out there in a more mainstream light given the fact that they get the publicity. You seem to be the, the the lady that's the underdog right now. Well, apparently I seem to be the underdog, but from the people that I've been in contact with, and I and I said I would go door to door if I had to, just so that they would understand. Well, what what are you really about? Who are you, and where and where did you come from? And and I'm saying, okay, we need to stop the violence. Okay, and how do you do that? We need we need to uh, promote uh, uh, youth as well as senior citizens joining together instead of segregating them. Uh, we need to really look at the housing situation and not talk at people, but actually make a difference in their lives. Um, we need to look at the transit system as it really is. Um, they, they're talking now about uh, uh, studying how people are not gonna get hit by trains anymore or and, and, and I know that transit is a, a state 
it's governed by the state, the mm. state of New York. But as mayor, I would have a conversation with the governor, and we have actually set up programs which could stop that people getting hit by the trains. Um, we we want to promote you lasting unity. You know, when we have like disasters, uh, Sandy, 9-11, everybody came together and we were all American and we were all New Yorkers and, and we embraced each other. And then as time went by and the bad guys went to jail, we kind of went back to our indifference and, 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 and that's not acceptable. We are New Yorkers and we are a unit and, and, and we're going to, 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 to keep to keep the violence from continuing, unify and, and, and give people hope. Mm -hmm. Now let me ask the question, some critics have said, okay, she's running for mayor, why not city council? Why not start at a, at a lower branch, work your way up, develop more exposure? Why would you go right to the, for the mayor's seat? Why would you feel? Because that's where the power is. That's, that's, people listen to the mayor. People hear the mayor. The mayor is the mover and the shaker. I can let the city council know what needs to be done. And I want to be on top so that I can assure the citizens who deserve to be happy uh, that, that someone is recognizing what they, what, they, what they need and actually overseeing it to make sure it's done. Yeah. You say that you have a plan for the problems. A lot of people are talking about the problems. You're bringing solutions. One of the things that you talked about was clerical positions. Not clerical positions. I, I mean, they're, they're, clerical positions are almost a thing of the past. I mean, you, if you think about it, when, when you go to your doctor's office, your doctor's typing while he's talking to you. Mm -hmm. um, so if clerical positions are on, on the downslide, then what's really coming up? What's really coming up? And what's coming up is, is the allied health. The allied health positions are, are abundant, really, really, really abundant. And, and, and we need to, to push our students or uh, guide them toward not jobs, careers that, that they won't have to have hands to mouth wages, that they can actually make a living wage. Mm. Because in New York, you, you can't live on, on the minimum wage. Now, I don't, I don't know how people do it. I mean, I'm retired, and, 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 and even retirees are having difficulty living. So we, if we don't address that, then it's, where do we, where do we go? Where do we move if, if, we, if we're not in New York? And I'm not just talking about Manhattan. I'm looking at the outer boroughs. I'm from Brooklyn, but I live in the Bronx, mm. and I've been in the Bronx since 1971, and, and, and the outer boroughs seem to have not been recognized as part of the city. Before we leave, I want to ask a question about overdevelopment. A lot of people are concerned about overdevelopment here in the Bronx and across New York City. We're seeing a lot of new development and we're seeing a lot of people also being forced out of homes and you know some that are actually moving out of the city of New York. How would you tackle the issue of development and what would be your plan for the city? Development is not is not the problem. The problem is it's not inclusive. If we, we need to include the the the, the ninety nine percent that 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 have seemed to have been forgotten, and 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 it, it's like construction with the development construction. There is a minority workers uh, initiative by the government. Ten percent have to be um, employed, and 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 what we what we have found out is that the word has been that no no minorities have been applying, and that's why the the numbers are so low. Well, I kind of know that that's kind of inaccurate so we're gonna we're gonna look into that so that everybody is benefiting from the development not just a handful of people you know I'm having a, a fundraising event also on May 25th uh, because because it is grassroots and we don't have a lot of money so and if anyone wants to uh, buy a ticket or to to contact to get further information the number is 347-344 uh, 4433, the world famous Delphonics will be there as well. Beautiful, beautiful. So you're quite optimistic and you're using the grassroots approach. Give us before we leave how you're embracing this grassroots campaign to try to get you to get, to get you to the mayor's seat. I have a, a, a group of, of, of 
people from all walks of life, actually knocking on doors, going into businesses, talking to the people. I'm from the trenches. I'm, I'm from Bed-Stuy. <laughs> okay. I've, I've experienced, and, 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 and you can say a lot of nice things, but they, the city wants someone of action. I'm a woman of action. So, and, and, I've, and the people that have, have been going around to knocking on doors and handing out my flies and giving out my cards are not being paid. They're saying, yeah, we need change. We want somebody now. We, it's a time has passed when, when you need to research. You can do things. You get things done. I have a record of getting things done. I don't back away. I'm tenacious. Mm -hmm. If nothing else, I'm tenacious. Well, Kilda Kathy Brody Fernandez, who is a New York City candidate for mayor, we thank you for stopping by open, letting us know a little bit about your candidacy. We'll continue following the mayor's race, and we thank you for coming and sharing your political platform here. Thank you.